Hey, what's good everyone? Today, we're gonna take a detailed look at the Dizygotic Project Alpha Chi and Chong journey from 420 to 710 release. And yes, that's a very long name for sneaker release. And it's basically paying tribute to Chi and Chong, two stoner movie characters who pretty much defined this movie genre and who also did a lot for the cannabis counterculture and probably also defined how the public is viewing stoners. Always funny, a little bit slow, and always a little bit clumsy, but their movies from the late 70s to mid 80s has put them in the Hall of Fame of comedy. If you're familiar with the whole cannabis thing, you probably know what 420 and 710 stands for. And this co-branding journey from 420 to 710 basically describes um, when they have come up with the idea for the sneaker release that was on April 20th and the day they presented the first samples to Chi Chen Chong that was July 10th. So, so much on the background story of this release. Let's dive into the details. Of course, as usual with Dizygotic, the name gives it away. They always have a twin theme or a theme that is cosmically connecting two things or two elements or two characters. And in this case, it's Cheech and Chong, and they share the same love for smoking weed. So both characters are featured in one of the pairs. The blue one is Tommy Chong, and the yellow pair is Cheech Marin. And we're gonna start bottoms up with Cheech Marin. We have a vibrant mid and out sole on both shoes. This one has a yellow bottom. This one has a jeans blue bottom. And Dazygotic is the first brand Vibram has done a dual color setup on sneakers. So, heads off to them for pulling that off. Let's continue with the uh, Vibram midsole here on the Cheech pair. Very comfortable midsole. I'm really wondering when they're gonna come up with their own midsole design, but I know that it is very, very expensive. Maybe they're gonna put out uh, a different release with one of their own creations. Who knows? Uh, this is a thick and comfy midsole. Really like it, very comfortable, and it looks very good as soon as you're wearing the sneaker. The yellow elements on the pigskin suede here is representing Cheech's yellow tank top. And those red elements here on the lacing section represents red suspenders that he's wearing. Also red at the heel tab, this is red corduroy with his counter feet, and this is representing his beanie. Um, as usual with the Zygotic releases, we have cross elements referring to the other character. You have this jeans blue one here that is referring to Tommy Chong. Uh, we also have similar or the same elements on the shoe, which is that cream nylon material underneath the uh, Project Alpha butterfly logo here which is representing by itself the Cheeto pants. And both combining element is the inner liner and the back of the tongue, which is representing the dashboard and the side panels of Chi-Chi's lowrider here in beautiful aqua and purple colors. It looks amazing in person. It reminds me a lot of the Sean Wotherspoon Nike Amex 190, which you probably know, which has a similar, is it Chanel or something? Um, in a liner, it looks really dope in person, very shimmery and shiny, and I just love stuff like this. Let's go on with the differences on the shoe, showing you the Tommy Chong pair. Three colors of blue here, representing the jeans outfit that he's always wearing in the movies. On the heel, also his counter feet, stitched on top of his bandana. Then we have also the butterfly logo here on the mid panels on the side, blue laces. And this is the cross reference to Cheech, to his chinos. Also, exactly as on the other one, that nylon material underneath is cream colored. And we also have a cream colored tongue. On this one here, you can find the Dizygotic logo with the butterfly, which is embossed. And on the Cheech pair, you can find the Cheech and Chong stitching, which is stitched, of course. Uh, both feature a stitching on the inside, a D and a Z for Dizygotic, and both have a heel tab, which says Cheech and Chong, which is running over the lace stay here, also in 3M, and 
continuing into the toe box. And that little 3M part here on the toe box is the only thing that I'm not crazy about. I already mentioned that in my last review. I would prefer to see it as other brands doing it on the edge of the stitching here, but it is what it is. It's, I haven't designed the shoe, they did, and that's what they're like. So it's not taking really away from the, from the design of the shoe, but just a small detail that I would prefer differently. But to each their own, it's still a very dope looking sneaker. It comes with a bunch of lace options, the ones that you find in the sneaker, blue and yellow, round laces. And then you will also find a pair that is white, all white for both sides. If you want to sport the same laces in these shoes, you have to take the white ones and the other ones are a flat blue and a flat yellow. So basically the same thing uh, that you find on here, but they are reflective 3M. Guys, I got sent these to me. If you're looking for these online, they're sold out already. I think they sold out at the day of release, so it's gonna be hard to find a pair, but if you should happen to find a pair, that's basically why I'm doing this review for. I thought that it wouldn't be possible to top off the first release, but they actually did and sprinkled a little bit more on top of the icing or a little bit more icing on the cake. And uh, that really has been accomplished with the inner liner. I just love this and Speaking of detail-driven or love to detail, they always take a little bit further than other brands. We have, now, now I think now comes the best thing uh, that you're gonna find out as soon as you are disassembling your, your sneaker or as soon as you are trying to put them on. First thing, both sneakers. We have, if you're familiar with the movies, you're gonna know what this is gonna be about. This is not a quarter pounder joint. How? Dope is that really this is such a this is such an awesome cross reference to the movie it's unbelievable that's love to detail and that's what I love about Dizygotic the other pair is featuring that as well so you get it on both shoes and it hurts me that this is gonna get crumbled up the more they use the shoes unfortunately maybe you just have to take them out and store them separately somewhere it's really a pity if these get destroyed over time. And uh, more details. As with the first release, of course you find some prints on the insole. It's the autographs by both characters, Cheech and Chong. And then you have another cross reference to the movie. I'm not, not gonna read that out. You can read it for yourselves. One of them is the license plate of the lowrider, Cheech's lowrider, and the other one here, Chong. And this one here features the upholstery van which basically consists completely out of weed, which is funny by itself. So, uh, and let's not stop here when we're talking about details. And the same thing as with the first release, they've printed something on strobel board. This here is the Dizygotic logo, the butterfly logo. This one here says Dizygotic. You just gotta love stuff like this. This is so awesome. This is such an awesome release. And maybe you can now understand why it had put such a huge smile on my face when I opened up the package and took a look at these. These are just beauties. Uh, cannot decide which one I like more. Sometimes I wish they would have matching pairs, you know, but it is what it is. It's still looking awesome. Um, Thank you very much for sending these over. I really, really appreciate these. And sizing wise, I'm a size 13 in Asics and Nike. I sized up recently because I like a little bit more room. And I'm a 12.5 in New Balance. And this is a 13 as well. They fit okay, but I think they run a half size small. They fit me like a Nike 12.5 would fit me. But like I said, I'm a 13. So especially if you are in between sizes, definitely size up a half size. And if you have wide feet, sizing up that half size might be enough for you. I think they're wide enough in the sides and on top. But then again, I have narrow feet and in the end, everyone's feet are different. But I hope this gives you at least an idea of how they run. So much for the sizing for there and they're very, very comfortable. And uh, can't wait to throw them on feet and finally wear them. I hope you find all this information useful. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed all the background story on this release. I hope I will see you in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye bye.